from being linked to the Queen of the Seven Kingdoms to dating a fictional convicted felon's bestie. No. No. <laughs> Just when you think. No. Just when you think. Pedro Pascal, a.k.a. the Internet's latest obsession and unanimous daddy, has always been tight-lipped about his dating history. And I'm like, this is amazing. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Alright. Here are the girls Pascal's been linked to. But wait, why is the actor blowing up on the internet all of a sudden? And what's that comment about daddy? Hey daddy. I'm your daddy. Daddy is a state of mind. Daddy is a state of mind. Um, unless you've been living under a rock, I'm 100% sure you've come across at least one reference about him. I mean, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, you name it, and the man has been present there. And hey, I'm not complaining. The sudden rise in the actor's face is mainly because of the super frigging brilliant show, The Last of Us. I haven't watched it, don't kill me, but it's all my friends and the entire internet can basically talk about. Pascal plays a father figure in the show, hence the daddy reference in interviews and basically everywhere he's mentioned. His ruggedly handsome looks, of course, play a huge part in it too, which begs the question, what are his preferences? Well, honestly, I'm just as clueless as you. I'm confused. Oh, that's a... Dead. You're going to be even more confused in season two! <laughs> I need to calm down. <laughs> He's just that good at keeping his mouth shut, so much so that the 47-year-old hasn't confirmed any of his relationships since the 1990s. Heck, I can't even tell if he's interested in women or men. Well, for myself and most of you watching, I hope the man enjoys all flavors of wine. Thumbs up this video if you got the Shit's Creek reference in there. The question about his sexuality can be tied to the following factors. One, he's never actually gone on record to accept a relationship. And two, the man's done some pretty believable bisexual roles. He He's a bicon. Unfortunately for a lot of you watching, he's been linked with another DILF from Hollywood. There isn't any official reporting or confirmation on it, so I'd suggest you take this with a grain of salt. Pedro Pascal has been linked with none other than Oscar Isaac. I'm Pedro Pascal. I'm Oscar Isaac. And we're doing a, a Wired, Wired Complete Interview. <laughs> The basis of this rumor was both of them acted together in the theater production Beauty of the Father. The actors worked together in 2005, way before Game of Thrones hit the screen. The play was based on the plot around accepting homosexuality, and they even spent the 2021 New Year's Eve together. Fortunately for me, several rumors say that the former co-actors have dated in the past or could be dating. There's this one thing about Oscar Isaac being married since 2017 though, but hey, all of us remember his bomb chemistry with Jessica a chastain on the red carpet, right? Maybe we'll see some of that with Mr. Pascal sometime soon too. So the man has never been married, but there are some co-actresses that he's been rumored to get it on with. Daddy Pascal was linked to Maria Dizia way back in the 1990s when he was not so daddy-esque. The information was revealed by The Sun, which in my opinion isn't exactly the most credible source. However, Pedro never confirmed their relationship and neither did Maria. The duo got together years later, but this time on screen for an episode of Law & Order. The actors played a couple in the episode. It aired in 2008, and since, Maria has gotten married and even has a child. So, let me get this right. The two were rumored to be together almost 20 years before they got together on screen for a single episode? The son's credibility aside, I hope this was true, because despite the failed relationship, this simply sounds too romantic. The next alleged relationship on my list has some proof to support it, that it actually existed in the first place, and I'm not just theorizing based on rumors. The Red Viper report reportedly dated the Queen of the Seven Kingdoms in real life, Pedro Pascal appeared in the fourth season of Game of Thrones as Oberyn Martell, aka the Red Viper. He was a hot-headed, lustful man with brilliant swordsmanship. Back then, it wasn't only the girls crushing on the man. In fact, Reddit had a group dedicated to him solely, and you'll never guess what it was. The group was called Gay for Oberyn, comprising only of straight men. Such is the charm of Pedro. So can we really blame Lena Headey for falling in love with him? Yeah, so his fictional death may have been at her request, but in real life, the two were very close and chummy. The rumors actually started flying after Hetty posted a picture of him and Pedro in 2014. The picture was both of them snuggling with the caption,
production, Sunshine Love. According to sources, both of them were also seen shopping together at the Grove in Los Angeles. At this point, it shouldn't come as a surprise when neither of the parties confirmed the relationship. But things got interesting because Lena announced her pregnancy in February 2015 and people suspected that Pedro could be the father. The rumors were soon put to rest by Lena, who confirmed that Dan Caden was the baby's father. I'm trying to put you at ease because I've heard you really... You really don't like doing talk shows. It makes you very nervous. Is yes, that right? I'm, I'm terrified right now. You're terrified. Yes. I still think they dated, and here's why. So around the time, Lena shared pictures of the duo on her social media. So did Pedro, and with equally cryptic captions. This one time, Pedro wrote, She makes me smile goofy. Now, I'm not saying I'm a love expert, but you don't say that kind of stuff about friends you aren't romantically attracted to. According to the Daily Mail, Pedro also opened up about his friendship with Lena in a Reddit Q&A, while praising her for being smart and funny. He also said that she was one of his favorite people. And hear this. In his words, anyone who comes in contact with her develops an instant crush. Damn, if that's not a confession, I don't know what is. Since Pedro hasn't gone public with any of his relationships, but Lena has had two partners, next up, we have another speculative relationship. The most recent alleged relationship that Pedro has been suspected of having was way back in 2015. I mean, is the man so afraid of love? My heart says I can fix him, but he'll probably not acknowledge me either, so let's get back on track. Pedro was rumored to be dating Robin Tunney in 2015. I was uh, looking for Teresa. Yeah, I'm sure she's, um, I'm sure she's around here someplace. Yeah, she probably is. The duo had worked on The Mentalist at the time. Much like Lena, Robin was also photographed with Pedro, walking around Hollywood during the summer. The two even attended the 2015 HBO's Emmy Awards after party together, but of course, no confirmation. I thought I would say hi. Stupid idea. No. It's fine. It's good to see you, Teresa. You too, Mark. The pair were last seen together way back in 2019 as they had dinner together in LA. Finally, I have a confirmed relationship. It's not romantic, but wholesome AF. Sarah Paulson and Pedro Pascal have remained friends for over 20 frigging years. Though Miss Paulson is partnered with the legendary actress Holland Taylor, she warrants a mention here because of the sheer beauty of her relationship with Pedro. So, Let's be honest, the acting industry is cutthroat, and does anyone really get along with anyone? The Carr Jenner clan has changed multiple best friends over the years, and a friendship to weather decades should be appreciated. Pedro and Sarah have pretty much been open about their intimate friendship. It started when they were just teenagers in New York and pursuing a career in the entertainment industry. Rumors between the two have surfaced time and again, but there hasn't been a confirmation from either party. The talk eventually fizzled out without any statement, and Sarah, of course, partnered up with someone else, putting an end to what could have been a romantic story for the books. The two have shared the screen in American Gothic and Narcos and can be seen supporting each other at award shows and red carpet events. And there you have it, Pedro Pascal's very speculative dating history.